Welcome to the post-game press conference. We are joined by the best player of the game, Aaron Black, and winning head coach, Norman Black. Aaron, we saw a very aggressive and explosive gameplay from you today, and this is your career high. Talk to us about uh, what sparked it or motivated your gameplay today. Well, first, uh, that's credit to my teammates. As you can see, Nondulo, si Raymond, sinisilan na lang mga bigs para makalaya pa ako. So that's big credit to my bigs, my teammates for uh, finding me when I was open. And, and uh, you know, this was a whole team effort for us. Uh, KJ came up uh, really big in the end, and then Andrew sealed it with two free throws. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big win for us, but, you know, we have one more on Sunday that we have to prepare for. Coach, talk to us how you re-strategized coming into overtime and all the adjustments you made along the way for such a high intensity and close fight. You know, tonight, a lot of the focus was on Franklin because he handles the ball the majority of the time and he can make shots, he can make threes, he can get to the basket, he can get to the foul line, he doesn't miss from the foul line. So a lot of our defense was all centered around how to control him and and not let him explode too much against us, even though he, he eventually did. But in that overtime, you know, we just, we just gutted it out with defense and tried to get as many stops as possible. Uh, we wanted to get the basketball to either um, our import, KJ or Aaron, off pick and rolls, because that's what was working for us. And um, hey, you got to give a lot of credit to uh, Andrew, Andrew Karam, because he sat on the bench the entire game, and he came in at the end and made those two foul shots to seal the game. So I give him a lot of credit. We are now opening to the floor. We are now opening the floor for our friends in the media. First of all, what happened in that uh, last six seconds? Or is that the end game? The end game? Yeah. Um, that was a pretty hard foul committed on Elaine. Um, that probably started early in the game, uh, probably in the first half. Um, and I was just trying to separate them. So Elaine wouldn't get thrown out of the game, which obviously I didn't do a good job because he did get thrown out. Um, that was it. Much to do about nothing, I guess. Everybody else was just trying to hold each other, stop somebody from maybe throwing a punch and, and getting ejected from the game. Because a play like that can decide the game. Players start to get ejected. So um, the cooler heads prevailed in that situation, and the referees controlled it. So. Turned out okay for us. <laughs> I, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I still have to have that explained to me. Um, but it, at least um, yeah. Angel stepped up and made the two foul shots, which put us up by four. Um, was it four? Or by four? Yeah. So that was, that was big for us. And. Um, yeah, I mean, you have those type of scuffles during the game. Everything is intense out there. You know, one thing I can say about PBA basketball, I've been in the league for a long time, but one thing I can say is that the games are really intense right now, and they're very exciting, and the players really want to win the game, so they're out there fighting to stay alive in the standings and have a chance to make it to the playoffs. <laughs> Yes, the teams we're probably going to be in running with in, in the running with are, well, Inlex has a chance to get go further up. Uh, they still have one game left, but they have a tough game left. Then, of course, we're fighting Converge for one of the slots. So we have to win our last game against Phoenix to be even, even in the running for it. But uh, at least we still have a chance. Yes. Is that 
No, I, I just truly believe that as much as possible, whenever there's any type of uh, um, rumble or what do you call it, scrum or whatever, um, you should grab your own players. You shouldn't grab the players of the other team. I tried to stop Elaine. That was my whole purpose of being there. Um, but when you start grabbing somebody else's player, or in this case, grabbing the coach, then of course, you know, things can get a little intense. So, but nothing happened. Um, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> that concludes our post-game press conference. Once again, congratulations to Meralco. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank <laughs> you.